Sonoma! The trucks are back at Sonoma. First time since like 1998, I think. But here we are. It's week 13, but we're racing official series. This is the open series, but OSR did not have a setup posted, so I'm just using the iRacing default open setup with a gear change. I did not like how the uh, gearing was for the total of one whole lap I didn't practice. Um, looking at fuel, it's only 25 lap race. I don't know if we're going to need to pit. We'll see. Probably will depend on how the tires feel. I'm going to try and protect them, but I'm notorious for really getting them way too hot for the uh, in the race. But we got a cloudy day here today. Get ready. I number nine starting in 25th. I did not qualify. And we got Zachary in the 23 starting with us. He's said hi before the race, so good luck to him. We're both trying to be careful back here in the back. But yeah, I am uh, trying to get some races recorded tonight. I'm going to be gone all weekend. I'm not sure when this video is going to come out. Okay, looks like we're stopping. I'm recording this on... Jeez, the heck happened there? Got one on your right trying to get around the 25 was just clear, stopped on track right now anyway <clears throat> trying to get some races recorded I'm gonna be gone all weekend uh, I'm not sure when this is gonna come out I'm recording this on Wednesday week 13 but this may not come out until Friday we'll see how it works I just released the um, crash compilation which I thought turned out pretty good. You've got a Every time I release one, I think it's the best one I've made. Certainly long enough. But... I think tomorrow... Depending on how many... little fun races I can record tonight with, for the Week 13 stuff... I may not release the... Uh, Nick's Enduro Challenge race with the dirt street stocks until tomorrow. We'll see. You've got a slow car on the right. Go left. Let's see if we can get around the 10 here, maybe. As we both get loose. Got one on your right. Just Still use there. the hill to slow down here in turn one. Still there. Figured Sonoma I could jump into and not have too much practice. Right. I'm not going to be fast, but at least I'm going to know the track layout. And we finally got the freaking short shoot back. Way better layout than the whatever the other one was called. Where you had the right turn right after the uphill section. That goes down into a big carousel. A right. Yeah, this is way better. Way, way better. So we're just going to hang out, try and keep the tr uh, truck on track, do some laps, protect the tires, get some free spots from people spending, hopefully. Maybe not have to pit, we'll keep an eye on that. Full car ahead. Got a car stopped ahead. Not sure first gear is necessary for the hairpin here. Go left. We got, got like right. three free spots right there. Thankfully, the shifter's not acting up right now. Sometimes it's fine, sometimes second gear it just doesn't work. It won't stay in second gear. But for this race, it seems to be working fine. I think I went too far with the gear chains. I'm, I'm having to do a little bit more shifting than I want. But that's okay. So much better with the short shoot. This is such... This is so much more fun than the other layout. There's a local yellow. Somebody's backing up on track. It's another free spot. 
we very well may never pass a person, like actually, without getting free for the wreck, which I am completely fine with. Somebody up there going down pit road. Let's try and stay in second here and see how that feels. I mean, that felt fine. Let's not spin it though. Next time I get a chance, I want to look at the fuel. Let's see, we got 22 laps to go. 31 left on fuel, so I don't think we'll need to pit as long as we keep our tires underneath us. It could become undrivably loose, though, on throttle. But I think the clouds with the lower track temp is going to help that situation. And me being slow and easy, hopefully, for the whole race should help as well. As I go for it, go. almost lose it, let's not do that. You gotta be super careful on throttle. Stock cars on road. I do enjoy racing the trucks on road courses sometimes. They're pretty fun at Road America. But never raced them here, of course. I think I've raced them at Watkins Glen and didn't enjoy it quite as much. I, oh, I've raced them at Coda and that sucked, but... Coda is just ridiculous. Way too technical of a track for my skill level. I don't enjoy racing Coda, especially with stock cars. I did race with the uh, Daytona prototype once and won in a two car field in my class, so that was pretty cool. I beat a 700 I rating guy for one of my road wins. Only competition on track. I think it's recorded on the channel too from a long time ago. Probably not very good. Alright, that hairpin is uh, getting me loose so let's try and not do that anymore. Just gotta be careful coming out of the corner. I think the 24 behind me is faster, but I'm not sure if he's consistent enough to catch me. We seem to be holding steady at three seconds, but he's been within two and a half at one point. So it uh, makes me think like he's getting loose or something. The 10 is drifting through the hairpin. His tires are going to be gone by the end of this one. Maybe by the middle of this one. We have 20 laps to go at the line. 20 to go. Another reason I wanted to do this race instead of B Open, I'm probably not going to run B Open this week, uh, is because this race won't have caution, so it's going to be fairly short. Really short compared to a normal C Open race. And I want to try and get as many races done as possible before I am away for the weekend. I'm just going to leave it in third for for that portion since we're going to be shifting back down into second here anyway. Ten runs wide. I'm going to be careful and not get on throttle too quickly. And hopefully we can make a pass on him at some point or maybe he can slide off track somewhere and give us the easy spot. Zachary's pulling away, which is fine. Man, ten's really slowed down here. Got a slow car on the left. Slow car on the left, somebody on pit road maybe. Maybe. I have never saw anything. It's a lap car up here. I think the 10 is trying very, very hard to stay in front of me, but I am not pushing at all. So I'm hoping he doesn't wreck and get me collected in it. Try and get around the 25 here. Or well, he's just going to drive all into me clear, almost. Clear. Seemed unnecessarily close. Take it easy, Matt. I'll let you buy it here on the Something happened to the 24. 
Oh, the 17's running people over. That's not a surprise. I shifted in a second. At the bottom of that hill, like I said I wasn't going to do. The 10's really getting it sideways. I, his tires are going to be so, so destroyed very quickly. And once they get hot here, it's so impossible to get them cooled back down. It just keeps building up speed. Or heat. So I'm just trying to keep it as straight as possible. Nice and smooth through the corners. This could end up being a short race because the 17 coming up here now. He may just wreck us. Or the 10 may wreck us. With how sideways he's getting it. Either one are probably just as likely. Or maybe the 17 will get by me and then him and the 10 will wreck. Who knows? Got one on your right. I'm just gonna let him by because if I don't, he's just gonna barrel through me. And with how all over the place the tin is right now on corner exits, he's just giving it a little too much throttle. But he and 17 could tangle up. They're all over the place. All, all over the place. Ten sliding on entry, but pass is made cleanly. Now we got the 31 behind us, and then a huge gap. So it looks like we're top 20 at least. Unless we wreck. I think we can probably get around the 10 eventually. Alright, careful now. Alright, bouncing the curbs. Just gonna let this guy go now. He fled. Feel past me. All clear, all clear. And then immediately right. wreck. Clear on the right. Trying to let you go, man. You're holding us both up doing that kind of stuff. I know he didn't do it on purpose. But you don't have to push it super hard when I let you go on entry. So now you have to get by me again, which is dangerous for both of us. Being near somebody on track is dangerous. <laughs> At, in this kind of combination. We got the uh, leader coming up behind us. If we go a lap down, that's not going to be the worst thing because then we only have to do 24 laps instead of 25. And 31 wrecked again. So there's a big gap to him now. He'll probably make his way back up here. I'm pretty sure I didn't cut him off or anything. Local yellow. So car on the left, I think, just got going. It's the 22. He's right up there. Does he have damage? Does he need to pit? Fifteen to go. Definitely can make it on fuel. Fuel confirmed. I wonder if anybody is, is even gonna pit. I know we've seen some, but they were so early. I'm pretty sure that was for damage.
Still think we'll be able to catch the 10 eventually. I'm still not going to push it though. I'm not going to risk spinning it. Looks like the uh, 29 may be falling off as well. Or he's stuck behind the 22. 10 spins again almost. He's pitching it through the corner, that's for sure. Just waiting for the one time he overdrives the hairpin and self-spins. If he does that, I imagine he'll stop right in front of me and... Got one on your right. I'll be collected, but maybe I'll just pass him here. Brian. Really appreciate that, Brian. But he's Go not back. looking Go to give up positions. Still there. Clear on the right. He's gonna run me off the track though. It's like the third time I've caught him this race, but I'm not gonna concede. Well, I shouldn't be shifting into second there. I don't think it's necessary. Ten is all over the place. Somebody's wrecked. That's 25. He's a lap down. Oh my gosh. He's just stopping in front of me. I don't know what that was. Got one on your left. All clear, all clear. It's a nice 4x. I knew getting around the 10 was not going to be easy with how all over the place he was and how he would not give up the position for nothing. Now we got the leader here. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to let him by. Probably into the downhill section. Got one on your right. All clear. All yep, clear. that works. Give it to the 31 in the hairpin if we can last that long. If I do that, I'm sure the 10 will get back underneath me. That sucks. Oh, I thought that guy was going to drive off the track. He almost did. Now can the 31 keep it straight? Hopefully. And then he can just pull away and be fine. is gonna drive off track. He did. Still may get a lot of free spots. This race is far from over. Let's hope we didn't get any engine damage. And 31 self spins again. Man, if you just keep it straight and pull away from me and get out of my way, that'd be great. <laughs> If I have to keep letting you by all the time, it's going to really, really get close to wrecking all the time. At least we pulled away from the 10. He's just getting so sideways um, 
out of the corner that he can't keep up any speed. Way overdrive in entry and exit. And I'm way under driving exit just to try and save tires and also just so I won't spin. Blue flag, we got the two coming up. I'll let him go at some point. He's not really close enough to do here, but maybe the hairpin would be good. Looks like it will. Got one on your right. Regardless if I was or not, he's going to dive it in there. All clear, all How much clear. left side damage he has, I can see that. Third place is coming up as well. Thirty-one locks it up, going into the corner. People just need to calm down. <laughs> That's what I think. Just 10 laps to go. Everyone lets the lead lap guy go. Some grass kicked up. Third place is already behind me for the blue flag. Looks like I'm gonna have to let him go into the final corner. He's not close enough to do it here. I'm sure he'll gain a bunch of time on us through the S's. Never good at the S's. He'll be close enough for the final corner though. Final hairpin. So that's good. I'll leave the inside open. He's yeah, RGB right. too. All clear, all clear. All right, nice and easy. Ten must have self-spun. He's 14 seconds behind me now. We got fourth place in the 13 coming up. We're up to 17th though because somebody must have wrecked. I think we were in 18th. Don't get a 1x. That's not what we're looking for. You've got a slow car on the right. We have a car stop. And the 31 self spins again. He's got speed, but he can't keep it on track. I'm surprised there's 31 cars in this race. That's a big field. <laughs> I guess it is the trucks. It seems big for Sonoma though. I don't know why. The only thing I ever race here is Cup. I think I did a Legends race here once though. The 87 cars. So 31's gonna get back going. And I'm going to have to let him go again and then probably wait on him a few corners while he gets it 45 degrees sideways. Got the 22 up here. I don't think we can catch him unless he starts getting really sideways on exit with his tires. I'll let you buy this patient, all right? Cut that a little close. We might be able to catch the 22. Give us a top 15. I 
Blue flag. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to get here in time to give it to him in the hairpin. Just not close enough. Maybe into turn one. I overdrove it that time. No, not close enough for turn one. Okay, I was going to give him the other side for this corner, but he wants to do that, that's fine. Here comes the 31 again. Come on. Twenty-two's moving out of the way on the wrong side, but he backs off for corner entry, so that's fine. That way the uh, leader, lead lap guy, doesn't have to alter his line at all, so that's good. Nope, 31 must have self-spun again. He's seven seconds back now. I mean, if he could just keep it on track, he'd be fast faster than me at least just got to be a bit more careful on exit and entry don't overdrive entry or you're gonna heat up your tires too much and be very very snap loose on exit but I'm just in 16th so I'm obviously not the fastest here Nearly cut the corner of the S's there. Let's see if we can make a move on the 22 at all. Cut that a little too shallow. Get to the inside. Just not close enough. He locks it up. Nearly spins it on the front stretch. Got one on your left. I think he just I'll backed off to give it to us after that, so thank you to him. Only five laps left. I think... Is that six laps for me, but five laps since I'm a lap down? Maybe. Like if I wasn't a lap down, it'd be six laps. Either way, top 15 I will take. Glad the shifter's working fine at the moment. I'm sure it's going to have issues later sometime. Maybe not today, but in a future race. It like, the way it sits in second gear, I, something's wrong with it. As soon as I let off the gas, when it's having issues, Right now it's not, but when it's having issues, if I let off the gas in second place, it switches to neutral. Just my old G27H pattern I've had for like 11 years. Little piece of plastic. I still like it better than paddle shifters though, if I have a car that's got a stick. just seems too weird to do paddle. But obviously it's not a big deal. Worst comes to worst, 
I will uh, stop using the H pattern and just switch to paddles for everything. I feel like I'm more accurate with the H pattern though. I can. I kind of cheese it. I don't know if I should be saying this, but I put it in the gear on my H pattern before I shift. So all I have to do is dump the clutch to get it to shift. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that. That is that against the rules? I don't know. But with with the uh, downshifts, I don't do that because I have to rev match to get it to shift. I mean, I put it in the gear before I rev match. But I don't think I could do that with the paddles. And that's how I always get really, usually get really good shifting. If I try and shift, like if I do the normal, like the way it's supposed to work, you put the clutch in, then shift. Because in a real car, you couldn't really move the stick without the clutch in. But I uh, often miss gears doing it like that because I want to get too quick with the clutch. My bad, Parker. But this way... I got loose off the grass and then I'm just trying to collect it. See, I move it into third, dump the clutch, shifts oh, immediately. Don't have to go. worry about timing or anything like that. Put it in fourth, dump the clutch, quick dump. I'm glad you're able to keep going. Gets the uh, gear in. Uh, where are you, Parker? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's right. not... Like, I think, I think Ray Alfala used to do that, or still does. So I don't think it's a huge deal. I don't know. That's how I've always done it. Not always, but it's how I've done it for a long time. Well, you know what? The tires never really got that bad, but I don't know if that's because I wasn't pushing at all, or if because the track is so cool I could have pushed it further and not had to worry about it getting terrible later. Either way, we're going to take a top 15. That's car number 9. That's not terrible. We did get a 4X for no reason, unfortunately. I was trying to avoid that, but whatever. And we get a nice little quick truck race. We'll go through the incidents after this. You should learn a lesson from that. Instead of trying to wipe somebody out, make them try to pass them. You were passing them. Dude, what are you talking about? I literally just drove off the track to keep from running into the back of it. Okay, they're going to argue for a little bit. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to come home with 15th. We have a car on the left. Pull off and do the incidents. The Wasn't too bad of a race. Didn't seem like it took that long, which is exactly what I wanted. Quick little Sonoma race in the trucks. Beat up front end. After... The 10 decided to stop. I don't know if he was letting me go or what, but he was. I was right behind him, and he didn't say anything. So how was I supposed to know to go to his right if that's what he was wanting me to do? But it don't matter. 121 was our fastest lap, and the pole was a 114. So just six seconds off. I don't know why you think that's so bad. <laughs> Here's the 10. He's going to drag the wall. It's a net code. It's some net code with the 2 and the 14. 14 goes into the gravel or the grass. The brown grass. 14 diving it up the inside of the hairpin 3 wide. Good lord. Runs straight into the 26. The 11 trying to keep it off the guys on its outside. Puts too much wheel in it. And that sends him sideways. 
26 is locking it up and turning down on the three. Make some contact, but they don't spin. Wasn't he kind of just turned into their line? 24 gassing it up too much, getting it sideways and right into the bumper of the 10 car. The three on the inside of the 26. 26 again just kind of turns down on him. 19. He's getting it sideways out of... Is that the horseshoe? Is that what they call it? I call it the other hairpin. It might be the horseshoe. I don't know. Five slams into the back of the 31. 20 car is going to downshift and get some wheel hop and lose it. And he's going to pull into the inside there. Five is... Wow, what the heck happened there? Once he got to the left-hand turn, he just went straight. Maybe his screen went black or something? One's just bouncing over the curbs. Seventeen's cutting the course. You know, anything he can do to... Gain the system. A little bit of contact between the 28 and the 29. 10's gonna net code the wall a little bit. That might have been real. Just a tiny scrape. The 4 is overdriving it, almost hit the 18, and now he's all out of sorts for the, the S's. Right in front of the 12. Wow, 20. Slams on the brakes and hits the tire barrier, which in real life would just shoot the tire barrier out, not really do much. He was going to spin anyway, but that bounces him back on track. And then the 7 and the 11 are too wide. That gets the 7 involved. I, I, I messed it up. Ah. That was only lap 4. We just saw this, we just saw this, just saw that. Five. Okay. Uh, 25, just as soon as the five got to him, just turned left. A little bit of net code involved, but they were going to hit, and that just hooks the 25. I don't know what he was thinking there. Now he's going to roll backwards for a bit. He's going to back up for a bit and end up some part of the track that no one has ever seen before. Seven almost. Did he blow up? I think he must have missed the shift or something and blew up, shifted into first accidentally. Yeah, he just blew the motor going into the hairpin. <laughs> okay. Eight. Slams the wall. Seven still having an adventure with his blown motor. Twenty-four is drifting it. Can never gain traction. Twenty-two. Weaving back and forth. 21 bouncing it. The 25 is just out here to freaking wreck people. What is going on? He just turned right. It's it's the guy that's been a lap down the whole race. Like, he just turned right to wreck him. Road rookie. Like, what is this guy doing? It's weak. He's just trying to wreck people. I mean, that's just ridiculous. It's an official series, bud. I know it's week 13, but... Six and the three make some contact. The three kind of went wide. The six was turning down to make the corner, and it's just kind of a racing deal there, I think. All right, 25 is going to wreck the 22 now. Nope, he's going to spin in front of him. And this is when the 10 just slams on his brakes. I guess we were going for this corner, but maybe I overdrove it. I didn't think we were that close into the corner. I thought we were more like back here. So maybe I just overdrove it, but I still made the corner. I, I felt like I was doing it pretty normal. But he was right in front of me. Maybe I just couldn't see it. Could have been my fault. Didn't matter. Didn't affect me. Except give me a 4X. 25 needs to get off the track. All right, yeah. He needs to get off the service for a couple weeks, I think. Uh, 
unfortunate that people have to do that kind of stuff. That guy's blinking. 14's dragging the wall. Still on lap 15. There's some net code there. 18 runs wide, and the 3 it kind of all got stacked up there. The 3 does some sort of weird jump thing. And then the 13 with his stupid sh setup shop, idiot, just wrecks the 10, just hooks him, just straight goes for his right rear. So maybe he needs a break too. The 10 was a lap down in front of him and he just wiped him out for no reason. 31 loses it. 31 overdriving this part of the track. I've done that so many times here over the years. It looks like you can go full throttle through that corner, but you have to slow down way more than you think. For that right hander right before the uh, hairpin, 3 hits the inside wall. 14 gets some wheel hop off that big curb. Nobody has any idea what the 17's doing. He wrecks the 1 with all his swerving for no reason. See, when you're getting lapped, you don't swerve around and change lanes like the 17 did there. He was probably trying to get out of the way, but you just wrecked the leader with all your swerving for no reason. Assume the 1 was the leader. I have no idea. Yeah, he still won. but And that's it, I think. That is it. So, I'll take 15th, no practice, finished 10 spots where I qualified, quote-unquote, but, oh well.